Okay, folks, today we're going to be learning how to make some seed bombs for distributing milkweed plants for uh, monarch butterfly larvae. Uh, they're very common plants in certain areas, but uh, in the area of Southern California that I live, uh, you don't really see them very often. So uh, we're trying to get the monarchs to come back into the area and seeding vacant lots and things like that with some of these plants is a good way to do that. I have the plants planted in my yard and they're very prolific seed producers so if you have a type of plant that you want to distribute as a larval plant or a, even just for aesthetic purposes these can be a pretty effective method of doing it. Uh, they're also um, good for planting in your own yard. Uh, they tend to germinate quite well in some somewhat adverse conditions. So what you're going to need is you're going to need a plate or something to hold your materials in. You're going to need some kind of seeds. These here are milkweed seeds that I've taken off my plant. You're going to need some water. You'll need some of this air dry clay, air dry modeling clay, and you will need some uh, potting soil. Any type will do. I'm using Miracle Grow, but you can pretty much use anything. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do here is we're going to need to separate our seeds. Uh, these white tufty parts aren't actually part of the seed. These are the bits that allow it to float around and reseed itself. So we want to remove these as best as we can. It's not necessary to get them all out. But what we're looking for is these little brown pieces here. These are the actual seeds. So go ahead and brush out as many of those as we can here. See if we can get them into the plate. And if you have some of the, the white tufty part that's fine too, but you want to get your seeds into your plate here. And as you can see, some of them have already separated in the bottom there. So you can just go ahead and dump that out. And although we have a decent number of just seeds. We still have some that don't want to let go of their tufty bits there. So we can go ahead and use this mixture fairly well. Be able to pull out some of the some of the tufted parts. And what you're going to want to do here is you're going to want to take your air dry clay and open that up and however much seed you have here it's supposed to be just by the, the seed part not the uh, the fluff part but you're gonna break off a chunk of air dry clay that's about three times the volume of what you have in seed that should be good if we squish this down we're gonna have about three times the volume there then we're going to do the same thing with our potting soil. We want about three times the volume of seed and potting soil. So this will take up about three times the amount there. And you're going to add a slight amount of water to the mixture just to be able to make it clump and stick together. You don't want to add too much because you don't want your seeds to start to germinate before they've been planted. So now we just mix all this up. Get it all nice and mixed in here. Want to make sure all your little seeds there are getting picked up in the mixture. get as even as you can. I know you'll never be able to get it 100% perfectly even. 
after all it's dirt and clay it's not exactly uh, rocket science and once you've got this nice and mixed up what you're going to want to do is start breaking off little pieces of it like so and rolling them into little balls and then this little ball has seeds and fertilizer and protection the clay doesn't allow scavengers to take the seeds the soil provides protection and the seeds are what we want to grow so now you just take these little balls you let them dry out for a couple of days on your windowsill or on a piece of newspaper somewhere and then once they're all dry you take them and you put them out in places where you want to see the plants grow so like a vacant lot by your house you know strip a strip of uh, property that's not currently taken care of your own yard especially if you have a large property you can just throw these though wherever they land they'll begin to, to germinate when the conditions are right and just from that little bit there we've made about six seed balls that was only two seed pods off my milkweed plant and they get about 20 to 30 every year so you can see how this will allow you to seed a, a large area with just a few plants uh, hopefully this has helped you with your gardening um, you can leave feel free to leave a comment uh, please let me know if there's anything else you'd like to see thanks for watching